Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today I'm gonna harvest a little bit of goldenrod and some pine. I got old bad stuffed up head, head cold, and uh, the goldenrod you see is just starting to get in bloom. And uh, I usually come harvest some of these areas where it's just kind of scattered around. This year it has not produced in this area like it has, but it's spread out all across this place. And there's a lot that hadn't started blooming yet. And I don't need a lot for what I'm doing, but I am going to work on my tincture. I make an apple cider vinegar tincture, and that helps a lot with my cold. So I need to renew that. And I'm going to show you a tea that I like to use uh, where I mix some pine and the goldenrod leaves. So I've got my basket today, and we're going to harvest a little of this and uh, and make our tincture with it. Now these bugs, they got to get off of it. They, they want to pollinate and... So I want to shake them off before I get that, but I'm going to clip and get just the flower tops for my, for my tincture. Now a little later on in the year, these will fill more out. It'll probably work better. So, but I just had time to work on this today. And goldenrod is one of my favorite plants to, to work with. And I don't need a lot for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to fool around out here and harvest some. Uh, a lot of it has gotten bush hogged down. It just, it happens to grow where the deer patch needs to be. So you know how that works. But we're going to find enough, and, and like I said, I've got later on in the year to make some more. Uh, I am going to harvest some leaves. So like right here, probably what I'll do is cut that off like that. Okay, and I'm just going to put all these in the same basket. It won't make no difference. I'm going to just start right here. And I can, that way I ain't got to go home and fool with all these stems. And I'm just gathering up, y'all, some of what's here, there, and yonder around. And you can pop these off by hand if you need to, like this, where they ain't but just a few on this plant. Because I want these flower tops for my tincture. So anyway, let me get harvested what we're going to harvest, and we'll go make this uh, tincture and tea. Now, I need a little bit of this pine for my tea, so, I mean, it don't take but just a little bit in we got pine trees everywhere here in Mississippi. All right, y'all, forgive all my junk over here. I know some of you like a clean, spit, span, spotless work area, but that ain't what I work with. Oh. So what I'm going to do is this is my bottle that I keep my tincture in as I take it. This is no corn cob I broke off. It fits right down in there and seals it up good and tight. So what I'm going to do right here is this the tincture that I made. Uh, it's probably a little past, um, I should have done poured this out, in other words. So, here's what I do. I'm going to fill my bottle up just like this. I make all my tinctures with apple cider vinegar. Um, now, this is, I've got it labeled, this is made with Solidago Altissima. Oh. Uh, this right here that I harvested today is Solidago canadensis. My Solidago rugosa will bloom next. This is in Mississippi how this works. Now I've been watching it for several years. Then the Solidago altissima will bloom later. And that's the way I can determine which one's which after studying the plants. Just so you know that. I make all my tinctures right here with uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh, there's nothing wrong with using alcohol. I do not use alcohol in none of my stuff, none of my medicines. Uh, because I believe the Bible says to abstain from the very appearance of evil. No, it is not a sin, I don't think, to use alcohol as a medicine. Okay? But here's my problem with it. If I walk into a liquor store and buy a half gallon of vodka to make my medicine with and somebody sees me, and it affects their heart and affects them to think, well, that boy started back drinking. 
I don't want them to think that. Even though they're wrong for thinking that, I don't want to cause that wrong for them. So it's a small sacrifice that I make to help keep somebody else's heart clean. So that's my viewpoint on it. It is not wrong, I don't think, a sin at all to use vodka to make these tinctures. So I just wanted you to know why I use the uh, apple cider. Now I'm in a pottery shop. All my stuff's dusty. It looks white and nasty. It looks like I ain't cleaned in a month. But uh, I can clean and in about a week's time it looks dirty. So anyway, this is my apple cider vinegar that I use to redo my my uh, tincture. There's a little bit left in this and I am not going to compress this, but I am going to pour this into another container to save the rest of it. Set that to after much rummaging around, I came up with a water bottle. And that'll be just fine for what I'm gonna do right here, so. And it'll let you see kind of what I've got going into this. This is just the overflow. This is probably the bottle that I'll take for right now. Now, I wanna tell you something. This is something that I learned personally with these tinctures. And we'll do this later on in the fall. When I get a bad cold or something, I really need it. The concoction that you make with a lemon juice, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, uh, there's several things, honey, that you mix together and people's making a small tea or whatever and they heat it up and drink when they say it helps open the sinuses up. When you add the apple cider vinegar, use this tincture. This is goldenrod tincture. It is great. Now what is going on in my sinuses is probably the ragweed has started blooming and I'm probably starting to develop allergies. It has never bothered me before, but last year it's, it bothered me a little and this year it's hit me again. So it's the, the goldenrod has the antidote to those ragweeds. So I'm going, I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to go outside, clean this jar out of this old stuff and we're going to add our new material in there. Okay, I've got my jar here. It's okay to put some leaves in there. Now this is my pine I harvested. I'm gonna lay it out. We're gonna make a tea to drink right now and I'm gonna show you kind of how I do that. So let me get my, uh, and y'all have to forgive all my junk sitting around. I've been out here working, making pottery. And I see I still got some bees trying to fly out of it. They won't usually bite you but a time or two. And y'all, I don't know if this light over here is bothering y'all. I'll, I'll cut that off. Sometimes they affect the camera. I do know that, uh, that they affect Central Electric's power bills that they send to you. Y'all, if, if Motel 6 had got the power bill I got last week, old Tom Bodette would have, he'd have been out of a job because they'd have had more cut the light off on him. I'm telling you, y'all. That light bill I got, y'all, that was ridiculous. And I don't change, I don't have central heat and air where it just kicks on of its own free will. So I don't really know what the hold up was and the problem that I had. Oh, Central Electric, the power company, they really stuck it off. Now you see, I got some leaves and whatnot in there. I hope y'all can see kind of what I'm doing right here. And not like that, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drop them leaves in there. They got good medicinal properties, but I, I don't want that whole stick in there. So, kind of break that stuff off the stick. I'll lay it to the side, right over there. Oh, so a lot of that, oh, I'll, I'll just stick the whole thing in there. Y'all, I don't use hardly any store-bought pharmaceutical medicines for for anything. I just I just don't like them. I don't I like the things. And I'll be honest with y'all, my standpoint on these medicinal plants is I feel like I am using the things God give me to use to work on my body. Uh, I believe in healing and stuff, but like I woke up this old bad cold and. And you know, there's just some natural things in the world that we was meant to have to deal with. Oh, sick cold, one of them, I think. Uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to break it in half. And we're just going to shove it down in there. I'm going to get that stick right there out of that. And that's a pretty good stick. 
Uh, we'll break it up but, uh, Oh man, y'all, this goldenrod got such a good smell to it. I love fresh goldenrod. We're gonna get all this in there. Now, the, the tighter you pack this, the less apple cider vinegar it'll hold. So there's a, there's a fine line on how much to put in there. This needs to sit in here, y'all, about 30 days is all it really takes to get you a good medicine made. But we ain't got as much in there as I'd really probably like to have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to break some of this up, sticks and all, and cram it down in there and let it, let it work. We may throw a, since I got plenty of that, I'm going to throw a few more leaves down in there to help. Because they, y'all, it all has, I like the medicinal properties out of the flower and top for tinctures, but they, the same medicinals in all of it, so... This is apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to pour this. I'll try to get where you watch me pour it. I know y'all don't like when I stick my arm right off in the middle of what I'm doing. Now, y'all, this is a rough dose, wouldn't you? I, I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works. Look at there, y'all. Boy, I, really, I wonder if I can get to If I pour part of it on the table, I can get it all into the jugs. So I gotta go back to the grocery store before I make some more. But that's a good thing, you know, if you ain't got a poor little old bug, he's a wanting out of there. Let me get him out. Oh there, little fella. You you be you ought not have a head cold no more. Alright, we'll get that put on there. Like that. And see it's labeled Altissima. I need to mark through that. Since I chat right, the best thing to do is to uh put you a new piece of tape on there but i'm lazy so i'm just gonna mark through all tesma and put canadensis they have the same medicinal properties it ain't gonna make 10 cents worth of difference on you but that's how that's how easy you make this tincture all it is to it y'all a lot of people's overthinking this medicinal plant deal so let's uh i'm gonna leave it right there for now and uh, this is what, see, this is a colored bottle. It'll last longer than that colored bottle. You get about a good year. Don't make a whole bunch of this because you get about a year out of apple cider vinegar tincture. So I make a new one every year on the stuff that I use. Uh, but this is this is it. Now, y'all, I've got old bad cold. Whew. It'll carry your eyelids up now. But it'll knock that sore throat and stuff. It helps for all that, or it seems to have for me. Okay, now let's make a tea. Now I use my coffee pot over here, y'all. Uh, y'all, I had that radio on right there playing some good classical music. I like classical music because it, it helps my, clears my head where I can think good when I'm working. But YouTube don't like for you to play nothing but their music. They'll demonetize your stuff, which they, they working on demonetizing. My revenue's been going down drastically since I started preaching, but if I can save a lost soul, it's worth it. It don't. No more than I was making off of it. It wouldn't affect it no whole lot, no way. Oh, uh, what knife we want to use? Y'all know I like to use a big knife. Let's wipe this one off. Y'all, I forged this one out of a horseshoe. I don't know if I filmed that or not. That is a horseshoe. You can see the... There you go. I forged that, wrapped it with a uh, rawhide. So, right here, we're going to start cutting up. Now, this is just old yellow pine from down here in Mississippi. Every time somebody makes, an, and, and y'all, pine needles, pound for pound, <laughs> throw them scraps in my wood here. Pound for pound, this has got way more, uh, vitamin C than orange juice does. So if you're sick and you're needing to rehydrate and all that, this is the way to go anyway. But I just put what I need in that little screen ball and I'm gonna show you all the blend that I use. All right, we're gonna cut that off. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna cut that again. And then we're gonna get right here, cut that in half, okay. Now that creates us a little stack of, see how I got them little pine needles? Y'all can't even see. Lord, hell, what y'all looking at? 
Anyway, I cut them three times there, and, and I come up with a little short stack of pine needles. And uh, they won't all fit in there. I'm gonna just put what I can. Of these, these are the stems I cut off the end. I'll throw all that away. You can use that. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I do. Somehow I got in the habit of throwing them away. Now you can use dried. You can dry all this stuff and make the same tea out of all dried material. So I've just got me a little pinch of this. Put it in there. Get me a little pinch of them. Put that in there. Yeah, that's gonna flop out before I do this. So let me get one more thing. Now this, y'all, right here is rabbit tobacco. You see under there how white that is and it's really green on the top. I found this plant and dried it. I have another one outside that is i've got in a pot that i'm going to transplant to my medicinal garden and let it flower out and hopefully start spreading i've struggled to find this it has a really good smell so we're not going to use this one i'm going to hang it back up over here if you go back and watch my last just in time video you'll see it hanging up behind me where i was in that chair talking but now this bag here mike reed sent me so thank you, Mike. I have been using this and, and found that it really does work, y'all. Oh, uh, he broke it up for me and put it in some in there. So here's what I do with the sticks and all. I strip the leaves off. And it don't take a lot of it either, y'all. But this has some really good qualities for old head colds and stuff like that. I know a lot of people, they want to make this medicinal plant stuff out to be some great science and deep, but y'all, it ain't, it ain't a whole lot to it, because they ain't a lot of this that can hurt you. They have some stuff that can. Now, you need to know the big things to learn what not to fool with, but, I mean, you can. All right. Now, we got some of that in there. Put a little more, and I may put a few more goldenrod leaves on this side. So, okay, I have just wound up with this little ball, just somewhat crammed full of all of this stuff. Now, I realize it's a hanging out the sides and all that. That, that ain't going to hurt a thing, y'all. That's in there good, as long as this ball's holding it together. Oh. It ain't going to come out of there. So, all right, here's how I normally make my tea, y'all. Now during, during the winter when I've got uh, a fire going, I've got another little tea kettle that's got a screen in the top and I use it. But during the summer, I don't want to build no fire. I don't want to go outside and fool with a fish cooker, all that kind of stuff. Y'all, this is quick and easy. You take a coffee pot. Now I made coffee in here the other day. So I got to get that out and uh, let me dump this coffee out. I'll dump it in the park pit for now. So just make sure that this don't have nothing in it. I'm going to rinse it out just, just in case. Make sure there ain't no coffee, which it ain't going to hurt nothing either way. But I got that in there like that. Now this, I take your screen ball. I just hang it right there. And y'all, it's just as easy as pushing that button right there. That'll make the tea that I need. And I've got some leftovers, so I can make another dose of it here in a little bit. Y'all know what a dose or something is? That's a that's a uh, country word for dose or dosage. So you just call it dosed, you know, like toast. <laughs> I'll learn y'all something about this country talk if you listen to me long enough. But what that does is it, it right off the bat gets rid of people that ain't going to like me no way because, you know, they'll get on my videos and they, you know, you need to talk like this, you know. They already know I ain't going to pay no attention to them, so they, it saves them a lot of headache and me too. But you'll learn that somebody out in the woods out here knows a good bit about these plants. All it takes is studying some of this stuff, but y'all, this tea, you see how fast it's dripping right down into that coffee pot? 
Now I've got a little jar of honey here. Uh, usually I take this spoon right here and I dip me a spoonful out into my cup and I ain't even got my big cup out here. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I just use my old coffee cup. This is this is my fun guy. You get it, fun fun guy. <laughs> anyway, I made that cup, y'all. Y'all, some of y'all have seen that before. Um, but anyway, this is just making some some uh, goldenrod and pine needle tea with got some. This is rabbit tobacco, and with those three things, you can pretty well take care of a coal, make that tincture. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get this made, get us a sip of it here in a minute, get our head cleared up. I've got some more potter to make. i got to get out there and cut some grass, and that's going to help my sinuses a lot. <laughs> so thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. I appreciate all of you for watching, and uh, hopefully we're going to get back to doing some fishing. It's cooling off a little bit where you can stand to go down there. I know some of you missing that canoe and them fish. I am too, y'all. I'm ready to get back down there, but I'm going to be honest, y'all. It's just been too hot. It ain't, I, it's not worth it to go out there and be miserable. And uh, so anyway, when we fixing to get ready to plant our fall garden here pretty quick, I got to get to a spot. I got one spot cut up, but when it dries out from all this rain we've had, we're going to run over everything with a disc again. We're going to start planting some turnip greens and collards and such as that stuff. So, uh, we may do a little more medicinal plants. I hadn't done medicinal plants like I really wanted to this year, y'all. I'll be honest with you. We, we lagging way behind on it, but uh, be all right. We, we cover what we need to cover. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, best way to do things, the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all.